Hello beautiful people and welcome back to my channel. My name is Zita and if you are new to this channel you are welcome. If this is your first time please don't forget to hit the subscription button and also click on the notification bell so that each time I upload a new video you'll be the first to know. And don't forget to share this video with your friends and family. So in today's video I'm going to be sharing with you how to make this amazing Heba hairspray. And guys this hairspray is amazing when it comes with hair growth and having longer hair and also thickening up your hair so if you want to see how i achieve this hair bar hair spray kindly stay tuned until this video so the herb i'm using today is our lemon balm herbs this herb can be used as a dry herb or as a fresh herbs i actually dried mine myself the lemon balm herb is found among the mint family but it has a lemony minty fragrance which is actually amazing lemon balm can be used for hair loss and of course it can also be used for hair growth it is also good for oily hair and for scalp buildup and also lemon balm is believed to balance our natural scalp oil next is fenugreek fenugreek is a rich source of iron and protein which are essential nutrients for hair also, the protein in fenugreek aid in repairing damage and dry hair. Why the mucilage content replenish the hair and provide smoothness, allowing us to detangle our hair easily. This also helps to restore luster. So, in order to make this herbal tea rinse, we'll be needing a mason jar. In this mason jar, all you have to do is to transfer the handful of your lemongrass and as I said before, if you have fresh lemongrass, that is still okay. Once I have the lemongrass in my mason jar, I'll go ahead and add my fenugreek seed. In the kettle, I have uh, boiling water. So I'll also be adding one and a half cup of water. You can add less water. It just depends the quantity of a tea rinse you are making. So for this particular day I used one and a half cup once you pour your water in the cup all you have to do is to close your mason jar you can shake it up a little bit and guys this is when you let your tea to sit at a corner and just infused if you are in a hurry or advise you let this tea spread state for at least eight hours but usually i like to make mine to be overnight and it can be between 20 to 24 hours i really like to let it sit for 24 hours so that it really infuses or i get all the nutrients from the lemon balm and also the the fenugreek so in between that i can just shake it up a little bit just to help the process again but that is it and so this is after 24 hours and you can see our water even have changed color and the fenugreek has really swollen up so what you'll be needing now is any jar you have at home and of course any cheesecloth you have but usually i just go ahead and i use my wig cap I have a wick up purposely meant for my DIYs and I wash them each time I am done. So you just pass it through the wick cap and that's because you don't want to get any fenugreek or any leaves inside your tea. So this is one advice I'll be giving. If you end up making a lot of tea than you think you will use, I go ahead and I put some in my ice cube uh, the ice cube thing you can place in the freezer then i freeze some then i let it sit in the freezer and if it's in the freezer it can stay for about three months but the one i have in a jar that i spread on my hair every other day when i'm moisturizing my hair i let it sit in the fridge so each time i want to use it i take it out from the fridge i spread it on my hair and then i place it back in the fridge and once I place it in the fridge, it can last for about two to a maximum of three weeks. Then I throw it away and then I make a new tea. If you are not comfortable with letting your tea be for more than a week, just make them in small batch. Like it's really not hard to make. Just make them in small batch. 
but after you use it each time make sure you place it in the fridge so that it doesn't have any smell and now i'm just going to show you how i sprayed it on my hair i like to spray it directly on my root and just spray it like there is really no routine in this if you have braids or you have your own hair it's still easy just spray it from root to tips after i'm done spraying this on my hair i apply moisturizer on my palm i rub it in then i rub it on my hair then i go ahead and i seal it up with an oil as we all know it's important to moisturize your hair first with water and this tea rinse is just a means for me adding in other benefits of hair nutrients in my water before spraying it on my scalp so i do this every other day sometimes i might do it every three days just depend on how moisturized my hair remains and that is it guys this is how i make my herbal tea rings you can use any herb of your choice like it really depends on you and if you have done herbal tea rings before or you have any herbal tea rings you like to propose to me i'm actually very willing to try new herbal rings i have a lot i'll be sharing with you when it comes with herbal rings also that i've tried and i really like them so thank you guys so much for watching and see you in my next video